Welcome back to Going Bush on a stormy southern New South Wales day. This is the Yambler State Forest, Nick, and that behind us is a beautiful water catchment. It is indeed, Andrew, a valley, and they say you can tell a lot about the health of an environment by the quality of its water. And we're here to look at one of the longest running water quality monitoring programs anywhere in Australia. Did you bring a raincoat? With water playing such a vital part in all our lives, it's important any human disturbance in the forest doesn't have a major impact on the streams. And in New South Wales, a study has been running for more than 30 years now to keep a close eye on water quality. We all know that um, forests provide the best quality of water and that's why we have forested catchments supplying water to domestic uh, towns, cities and uh, for other regional water purposes for agriculture and so forth. The idea of the program is to ensure that our sustainable forest practices uh, meet certain requirements and that we maintain the quality of that water uh, during our operation. The study comprises more than 25 man-made weirs and sheds with all the gadgets needed to detect even the slightest change in conditions. OK, Brad, so we better check the rainfall first. Yeah, we'll do that first. Do the rain. Ashley. So this is one of those 25 sites around the state, Brad, and you've got your little gadgets and bits and pieces set up here. Uh, what exactly are you measuring? We're measuring the height, of course, but this is an in-stream turbidity probe. So as well as the samples that are taken by the automatic sampler that go to the lab, they do turbidity and suspended solids as well, but we also have an idea of what's going on in the stream every six minutes. Every six minutes? That's a lot of data. It logs to the data, yep, the line of data every six minutes. So. Yeah, we've got an awful lot of data. Now, as well as all that masses of data, they actually do take uh, physical water samples, which are taken from this site, then refrigerated, then transported further north, where they are further analysed. Since we started in the 1970s, we've, shown, we've seen as, as forestry practices as, have improved and with regulations coming on board under the regional forest agreements and the in New South Wales the integrated forestry operations approvals, that our effects on water quality over time have been reduced. So we're seeing now uh, minimal, if at all detectable, effects on water quality from forestry operations in, uh, in this century. The biggest threat from forestry operations is sediment laden water from roads, log landings and sneak tracks finding its way into the streams. But improvements over the years seem to be working. What we've found is that with the latest um, batch of prescriptions that it's much less likely for sediment to move off site from a, from a harvested compartment into a stream so that it, it's, it's rarely detectable and if so it's a temporary and minor increase. This is one of the weirs that was built in 1977 and it's a controlled site, Nick, which means there's been no forestry harvesting around the area. There's been the odd fire, but no logging. Important to have that so you get baseline numbers. You'll also notice that it's a little bit murky and it that's is. because there was a lot of rain in this catchment, 60 mils over the weekend. So that sort of murkiness, turbidity, does occur naturally. That's part of, of turning up all the time. If, if you had it on telemetry and you weren't here, you can't see those changes. And we fill out a shed sheet, so if there's something changed, you know, we have animal problems. We might get a rat chewing through a wire. You have frogs sitting on the floats in the stilling well, animals in the weirs, and you'll pick that sort of thing up, and, or, or trees coming down and blocking the, the V-notch, and you have to clean that out and things like that. So you have to, have to be on site fairly regularly to keep it keep it running, monitor it, and keeping the tracks clear. The Forests New South Wales Water Quality Monitoring Program has been up and running since the 1970s and includes more than 25 sites across the state, comprising different forest and soil types as well as control sites well away from any forest harvesting. The samples are sent to an independent laboratory for testing and water quality monitoring staff visit the sites every two weeks or more frequently when there's been a large rainfall event. Well, that's all I've got time for in Going Bush, the final episode of the series. Yes, indeed. We'd like to say thanks to everybody who helped in the production of the program. We hope you enjoyed the show and found the Australian forest industry as interesting as we have. Thanks for watching.